Well, our coverage continues now of the resignation of Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki. He is stepping down in the wake of a report that found the several problems at VA hospitals across the country. Joining me now, U.S. Representative Robert Pittenger. So glad to have you. Welcome home Sonia. for the weekend. Thank you, Sonia. Always good to come home. I want to ask you, Eric Shinseki said this morning that he felt like he had to resign so that he isn't a distraction as we try to fix the problems in the VA. Do you think his resignation was necessary to move this agency forward? General Shinseki is an admirable, honorable man, a great patriot. He did the right thing. I think what we have is a management problem that's pervasive. It's systemic. It's throughout the system. And what he is signaling is a need for change in how that system is managed. It's not going to end just with his release and, and uh, being, leaving the organization. What needs to happen is we need management who understand that they can't live up in Washington, D.C. We need walk-around management. We need a manager who understands the process of having individuals who are reported or accountable to him, but who are out there in the field all the time, talking to all levels of, of management, all levels of personnel, top to bottom. Do you think he said that there was a lack of integrity and that that's the problem? We got to this point of this hospital in Phoenix where we think, you know, tens of, or nearly 40 veterans died waiting for care. Is it, is it a lack of integrity in all of those middle managers? Son, you, you inspect what you expect. You don't assume that a bureaucrat is going to send you a report that's an accurate report. He got rigged reports. Uh, he was uh, insulated from reality of what was taking place out in the veterans' hospitals. That's why we have to have somebody who understands the process of management. He was a great general, but great generals don't always mean that you're going to be a great manager. And people who manage major corporations believe in what's called walk-around management. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they need to be out there in the field and understanding for themselves. And they won't be hoodwinked. Why do you think that it's taken so long to get to this point? Because obviously the problem started way before Eric Shinseki. I mean, mm -hmm. there are reports that since 2005, the inspector general has been putting out saying that there are problems here. Why did it, why did it take so long? Well... Uh, you always assume that one guy could go fix something. And I think the one guys make a difference. Leadership does make a difference in any organization. You'll see people who've gone in and turned around major automobile uh, manufacturing companies or any other major companies. There are turnaround people who understand management process. You don't hire political people. You don't hire personalities. You don't hire people who've been great in certain levels of, of their success. You get people who have experience in this type of broad systemic management requirement. I want to ask you this. When they looked at the top 20 facilities that had problems with wait times, mm -hmm. North Carolina has two facilities on that list. Mm -hmm. In Fayetteville, the average wait time for a new patient who's going in, a new veteran going in, 56 days. In Durham, 42 days. Well, you could understand Fayetteville. Uh, the demand there is great. And I think what they have to do right now is assess where are the needs, where are the demands, and take the assets that they have, the personnel, the medical personnel that they have, and place these personnel where the need is. In some areas you may find that you have more than adequate personnel and you have an abundance. In other places it's greatly diminished. So uh, they, the first order of the day should be an overall assessment of the entire uh, veterans hospital system to see what the issues are, what the needs are, what the management requirements are. And then you go and assess what do we need to do to affect every, each of these different uh, entities. All right. Congressman, we thank you so much for being here. Thank you. We'll be following up with you, I'm sure, on this issue. Great to be with you. All right. We'll be right back.